Okay, we're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video. And in this video, we're going to create multiple images that we can drag around in our web page. So we just did one file, and that, of course, was this caesar.png. So again, we're going to add multiple files in this video. Now, open up your website folder, and you'll want to put two other images in there. So you want a grand total of three. And you can see I'm just using the caesar image over and over again. And if you're using the same image, you may want to put a number on it or something or mark it in some way so you know which image you're dragging around. So again, you want three images to follow along in this video. So the first thing we want to do is start in HTML, where we usually start. And let's just go ahead and copy and paste this div that holds our image. And we're just going to copy and paste this twice, twice over. There we go. And we want another one. And then now I forgot the names. I think it was two and three. Yeah. Okay. So... It's caesar2.png and caesar3. Now, we don't want to use an ID anymore. We want to convert this to a class since we want this to be shared between these three elements. We want to reuse that code over and over. And you will remember, if you watched my CSS series, we use a class for that. So we're just going to convert this to a class. And we need to update this one. There we go. And let's just take a look and see what this looks like really quickly. You know what, though? Let's make this look more like a gallery. So we want the images going side to side to side. So let's close this out. And let's flip over to our style sheet. We'll go all the way down here. And you will remember that divs are block levels. So that's why those images are being displayed in a top-down manner. But we want them to go side to side to side. So if you took my CSS series, and I hope you did, you will remember that we need to convert a block level element to inline if we want it to display side by side by side. And we do that, of course, with the display property. And so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just set that to inline. And let's go ahead and get rid of this property. We don't need it. And we're, of course, specifying our class here, which was dot draggable. And there we go. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's see what we get here. Good. That looks great. Now everything's side by side by side. Okay, so let's close that out. And now what we need to do, and all we have to do now, is come down and alter this, right? We're not using an ID anymore. We're using a class. So we just need to put a period here. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's rerun this, and let's see if this all works now. And it does. Look at that. We can move around all of our images anywhere we want. So that's how you can create a little gallery where you can drag around multiple images. Okay, in the next video, we will cover the options that you can use with the draggable method.